Many sprints have uh, evolved from uh, a project we were involved in, the Future Led Innovation Fund. Uh, we've been doing that for a couple of years, and that was based on the agile uh, processes of being responsive to the students. And throughout the process, we were gathering a lot of data from staff, students, and Fano about uh, the approach to teaching that was going on and, and their learning and how engaged they were in it. The Agile is about being responsive to the needs of the students in front of you, making sure that you understand what they really want and how you're best going to engage them in their learning. But also looking at the concept too is what is it that you teach that they don't always learn and, and focusing on those small marginal gains and, and being responsive to that um, to really yeah, sort of deepen that engagement within the student learning. And over time, we found that we had started with an approach uh, focus on the students, but a lot of the changes uh, or the lack of change was around actually the teacher shift in practice. So um, from this and working with Core Education and Fiona Wright, uh, we found the learning sprint approach. We found that teachers were finding uh, you know, through inquiries, which can be a year or term long, they weren't being able to identify what was working and what wasn't. So if something wasn't working straight away, they just kept doing it and not being able to adapt to it and be agile. So through the learning sprints, it was an idea to look at just uh, one thing that you were going to approach, it might be one to four weeks, and have a really identified outcome and approach to that and how you're going to measure it so that you could see changes in a really short period of time and really adapt to it. So one of the types of learning sprints we use at St Thomas's is, is around our teacher practice and how we can really target certain areas or certain skills we want to develop to be more effective in the classroom. But another way of doing a learning sprint is more targeting a key area of say the curriculum or a key topic and provide certain criteria or concise approaches to that area of the classroom or curriculum area we're trying to target in a project. Uh, the feedback that we get and give to the teachers is something that they actually take on board and it is proven during the class when we're doing a subject that you might not understand. You give feedback and they change it so that you do understand it. The benefits of using the learning sprint approach um, it allows me to be adaptable but also develop my reflective practice. So I'm constantly getting that feedback around like what is working and then making changes to, to better suit the needs of the boys and kind of harnessing my strengths as a teacher as well to bring the best outcomes. We also found through our inquiry that a lot of the changes we were making were making changes to most, but there were still certain groups of students who, who really uh, maybe weren't engaging in the learning process. And through learning sprints, we were able to really focus on those students uh, to get change over a short period of time and multiple approaches by multiple teachers.